Hello, students. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to our English class. How are you? How are you today? Tell me, tell me. I'm fine. Thank you. Good morning. Good, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. Welcome. Thank you for staying here in the class today. Also for having the camera on. It's always important. Uh, it's a pleasure to have you here. Gracias por, por estar acá. Y por también tener su cámara encendida. Eh, ustedes saben de que en Sapor pues siempre está monitoreando el que tengamos nuestras cámaras encendidas y estemos eh, activamente practicando. Entonces es importante también tener eh, el micrófono apagado pues si no está participando eh, porque igual hace pueda interferencia con los compañeros que están poniendo atención o están practicando activamente en la clase. Así que, eh, well, so we can work with that. And I just want to, you know, encourage you to, you know, work so hard and also practice and maximize your English skills. That's important. Okay, look at the following exercises here. If we remember, we're talking a little bit about the quantifiers. Look at And uh, I just want to ask you, do you remember uh, what is the function of a quantifier? Excuse me, repeat, please. Uh, do you remember uh, when do we use quantifiers? Cuando lo usamos, o a qué se refería quantifiers? Yes, the I word remember. saying, quantificar, quantificar una acción. Uh, excuse me, quantify to action, an action. An action and the moment and um, um, time. Moment. Uh, yes. And remember that we were saying that the quantifiers determine, express, or measure the quantity. Uh, we're talking about amounts, quantities, numbers. A lot in that case, so we were using the quantifiers like much, many. So we were saying that one, right? So we have some examples about that. Like, uh, yes, Adriana. Uh, all, 100%. Uh, uh, incorrectly. Ah, we're talking about uh, percent, okay. Uh, nearly, nearly all, uh, 90%, most, 18%, and many, 7%, and only. Okay, thank you. Yeah, we're like uh, giving an estimate. I mean, it doesn't mean that it is a specific percent, but we just talk about percent. Okay, so for that reason, we will have a short practice and you had to choose the correct quantifier uh, according to the context. It says, look at the first one. It says they have had homework in mathematics recently. How time do you need to finish the work? There are two uh, students in the library. Have you visited foreign countries? Although he's very ill, he didn't take medicine. People know as much about linguistics as John does. Seven, they say knowledge is a dangerous thing. 
Number eight. He's having a, a trouble passing his driving test. Look at that. And look at the next nine and ten. And also we're talking about reading novels and he knows no, enough English to manage. So uh, I'm just gonna give you a, a short time to remember uh, this exercise and then we will analyze the answers. Let's go. Pregunta, ¿alguien está viendo la diapositiva? Ah, okay. nada, ya no. Yo pensé que era problema de señal mía, que no se miraba nada. No, yo también es que estoy traveseando aquí porque no puedo hacer la, la pantalla más pequeña. Me bloquea, <coughs> Zoom me bloquea los botones de la pantalla de mi computador. Sí, sí, yo eso estaba, eso estaba viendo. Yo pensé que era, era mi señal, pero ya vi que no. Are you ready? No, but let's go.
Okay, let's um, compare the answers here so you can help me with that, the first one. Um, uh, let, well, let me switch the screen because I need to write the answers here. Well, could be, I think this one. Yeah, this one will be the best one. Um, yeah, that, that's right. So we'll choose this one. Okay, um, help me with the first one. Number one. A lot of many. So we can have a lot of, okay. Uh, okay, um, a lot of hungry. Also, they have had in math recently. So they have had much hungry. Uh, also, we can use much too. Yeah, it's uh, no bad. Um, the two possible choices in that case. Um, it says recently, so maybe a lot of could be a good choice for that one too. Okay, number two, check the number two. How much? How many? Okay, we're talking about time, so it's uncountable. So the best choice would be how much? How much time uh, do you need to finish the, the work? So that would be the best choice for that. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, check the number three. Okay. There are two few still in the library. Two? Few? No. No, that's a match. Mosh. No, because students is countable. Many? Many, yes, too many students. So we can count students. Uh, we can count too many students in the library. So that will be the best choice for this statement. Help me with the number four. Have you visited? It's equation. What can we use in equation? Any. Any. Any foreign countries. Yes. Although he's very ill, he didn't take. A little. Many. Um, negative, any? Ne any, yes, any medicine, yes, it's negative, a negative equation, so any medicine. Number six. A lot of people know as much about linguistics mm. as John does. Um, no, as much about linguistics as John does. Could be, what possible choices could be? Many. Uh, could be many. What else? Any. No, because it's affirmative. A lot of. A lot of people. Um, a lot of. What else? Also, a few too. A few people know as much as linguistics, so there is a possibility too. Number seven. Uh, knowledge is dangerous thing. I mean, who will say that? I don't know who who will say that. Uh, few. Mm, no, say because it. knowledge is the uh, uncountable. No, knowledge is conocimiento. Yes, knowledge is, is yes, it's conocimiento. Uh, they say little knowledge, uh, it's dangerous thing. So because it's, uncount it's unaccountable. So they say little. Ellos dicen poco que el conocimiento es a dangerous thing. So that would be a good choice for the number seven in this case. What about he's having trouble passing his driving test? There is one that we need. A little. Many. Have, mm, because we're using oft. A lot. A lot, yes. A lot of trouble. 
Exactly, because we're using oft. So a lot of trouble passing his driving test. And the number nine, I spend, look at this. Much, I spend much of my time. Oh, a lot of. Mm, most, okay. I spend uh, most of my time reading. And also combined with oft. I spend most of my time reading. O sea, que yo paso la mayoría de mi tiempo leyendo novelas. So that would be a good choice for the sustained. And the last, but not the least. He knows English. He knows enough English to manage. Many, much? No, no many. A little English. Uh, he knows. A little. He knows a little English. He knows enough English to manage. There is a possibility. He knows much English. Mucho English, no, mm, doesn't match. So no much, no any, no many. He knows a lot of English. Mm, it would be little, better a little, yes. That was a, it. a little meaning in Spanish, poquito. Un poco, poquito, poco, mm. no lo suficiente, so he knows, he knows enough English to manage. Okay. Yeah, that's right. So we can check that, that part. Okay, so it's a short feedback related to, you know, this activity. So we go on with the next one. And we have an email and I told you to think about uh, an experienced writing an email about your family, write an email to your April about your family. Dear John, John, thank you for your email. Nice. Uh, now let me tell you about my family. My parents are co coffee farmers. Most families here are small. I have an older sister, but I don't have a brother. My sister's name is... Eh, vamos a escribir un pequeño, un pequeño correo, un pequeño correo en el cual vamos a describir o vamos a hablar un poquito acerca de nuestra familia. ¿Se recuerdan que medio les comenté eso? Yes, I remember. Ok, so um, some of you were going to advance with that one and some of you did it. Entonces quiero que en este momento escriban un pequeño párrafo para que lo podamos compartir con los compañeros en los grupos. Um, cuando usted termine de escribirlo, de, de escribirlo o de tenerlo listo, me va a escribir en el chat um, la palabra done or finished para yo saber que ya ciertos estudiantes ya han terminado eh, este ejercicio, porque luego que usted termine su pequeño párrafo o su correo, porque es un email, usted lo va a compartir con su grupo. Yes. Ok. Ok, so I will give you a short time to write this short paragraph, and then we will discuss about that. Ok, let's go, and good luck.
well, let me check. We have some students that have finished. Adriana, Esmeralda, Carla, Claudia, uh, Mr. Fuerte. So it's okay. Let's wait to three more students to finish and we will work in groups and we will socialize or uh, email about our family. Teacher, one more time, please. Yeah, of course. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, so let's um, go to our breakout rooms. And what I want you to do is to share your email to your partners, okay? We will learn from each other. In this moment, I will create the breakout rooms. Let me see how many members we have right now. Okay. Mm. Okay, let's try with this. We're gonna create them. And please, um, getting into the groups. Let's go.
¿Cómo lo hacemos? Uno por uno, digo yo. Sí, me parece. ¿Quién inicia? Usted. Yo no. Katherine, ¿quiere? No, pues yo, yo, yo puedo iniciar, pero yo lo, ¿vas a iniciar? Dale. Este, yo lo hice como, como enfocado, a ver, somos. Cinco. cinco. Ah, no, el otro. Vaya, elijamos un número del uno al cinco y así vamos. <risa> ok. Um, Este, dos. Cinco. Tres. Cuatro. No, ah, pues Adriano va a empezar. La escuchamos. No, yo dije cuatro. Ah, perdón. ¿Quién va entonces? Pues inicia uno. ¿Quién dijo uno? Jonathan. <risa> Vaya, pues voy a iniciar yo. Pero yo la anoté y según yo le íbamos a hacer como un email eh, en general, ¿verdad? Como, como saludando. Sabemos que hoy ya el email, email ya ni lo usamos, ¿verdad? Pero yo lo iba a hacer, bueno, lo he hecho como enfocado a, a que le estoy enviando un email a mi abuelo. Entonces dice así. Hello, grand, grandfather. What a pleasure to write to you. About my parents, they are very well. My father continues to work as a teacher. My mother continues to work in the store. My sister got married two years ago, and my brother is going to start university. I hope everyone is well over there. God bless you. We finish. Eso es todo. Yo lo hice más como una descripción de, de mi familia. Está bien. Yeah. Me too. ¿Ah? Um, dice, my family consists of 90 members, cousin, nephews, and uncles. We love to meet Heather for a coffee or, or sometimes to go for a walk. For birthdays, we try to be all together since it, it is difficult because of every job's work, but that is sometimes that we really enjoy sharing. Thank you. Claps. Sigo. Next. Yeah. Next. Continuamos. Dear, dear Alberto, thanks for your, message, for your messages. I like it to read them. And know about your family. And know about your job and your family. And um, we'll tell you about my brother. I have three brothers. And Weird name are Angel, Moises, and Noe. Your names are interesting for me. And we are very different. Uh, my brothers have three children, each one. Finish. Okay, nice. ¿Quién continúa? Yo. Eh, my email is eh, there are my mom. I greet you from San Salvador a Popa. I'll tell you that eh, your grandson is ah, eh, he was very 
very sick with vomit. And on the other hand, meh. ah, and the weather, the weather is cold here. I hope you are very well in your new job and home. We miss you. Andrea, Andrea, falta. Okay. Hi, everyone. Um, I have many siblings. Nearly all, all tall, but I am a little small. They aren't quiet and they are very funny, very fun. Um, I dislike to be very fun because I am the first daughter. Okay. Tiene apagado el micrófono. Ah. Pero no. Este, como que alguien no es divertido o es divertido. Yo no soy muy, no me gusta ser muy divertida. Ah. Soy más seria. Ya me acostumbré. Estamos bien entonces. Okay, students, uh, thank you for sharing your information, especially your paragraph or your essay or your email to your classmates about your family. We will continue with the next activity. And uh, we have a listening exercise. So what I want you to do is to listen to the following conversation I will share the link. And you had to answer the following questions. Where did the chef learn to cook? The man makes his special cookies by, you had to select the best choice. Which ingredient does the chef not use to make his cookies? You had to listen and identify the answer. At what temperature should you bake the cookies? And the last question, what is the topic of the next cooking program? So for that reason, I will share the link. Les voy a compartir en el chat el link para que ustedes lo puedan escuchar y me ayuden a contestar las siguientes preguntas, ¿ok? Así que les deseo buena suerte y escuchamos el audio, escuchamos y me ayudan a contestar estas preguntas. So let's go. Me dicen si pueden ver el enlace en el chat. Can you see the link in the chat? Yes, teacher. Thank you so much. Okay, let's go. I have a problem. Eh, yeah? Ya tenía, ya le había dado click al link. Y me pasé a la clase, pero ya no puedo ver los botones de mi computadora. Estoy viendo en pantalla completa solo lo de la, la clase, la videoconferencia. ¿Cómo le hago para salirme o para hacerla pequeña? Yo voy sí. a enviar un, una impresión de pantalla al chat. Ok. Mm. 
Ya que en la parte, a veces en la parte derecha de la pantalla hay una parte donde dice view o vista, entonces ahí está galería, eh, full screen o pantalla completa o no completa, entonces usted ahí le da. Oh, uh -huh. okay. Ahí está en el yeah. slide. Ok. Yes. You're welcome. Okay, almost ready? Yes. Excellent, great, great. Okay, so help me to answer it. Um, the first question is, where did the chef learn to cook? A kitchen. Uh, at, at the family member's home. With a book of grandmother. <laughs> Escuchamos diferentes maneras. <laughs> uh, dice, y 
bueno, he says, I start starting cooking and baking almost uh, 13 years ago when my grandmother taught me in her hum humble kitchen. Okay. So the answer is the form correct. Uh, so, say Jonathan. Well, in that case, well, in that case, the answer is um, where did the chef learn to cook? The answer is at the family member's home. So that's because he mentioned that, you know, he start, started cooking, right, 30 years ago when I think grandmother saw, saw her, you know. So that's why, you know, that's the answer. So at the family member's home. Okay, number two. The man makes his special cookies by. Following a healthy receipt. Exactly. Nice, Noe. So following a healthy receipt. Yeah, that's right. And uh, that was the answer. Um, thank you also, Jennifer, too. She also writes here in the chat. Number three, which ingredient does the chef not use to make his cookies? Baking soda. Baking powder. Baking powder. Yeah, baking powder. Yes. Next. At what temperature should you bake the cookies? Back. Um, no sé cómo se dice 350. 350 degrees. Excellent. 350 degrees. Great job. That's right. So 350 degrees. And the last one. What is the topic of the next cooking program? Mm, expensive meals. <laughs> Inexpensive? Meal. Inexpensive meals, right? So this is gonna be the next topic. So it's mean that are accessible for families. That is the topic, okay? Excellent, great job. Okay, the next activity is that I want you to listen the following article. It's read the article and answer the equations. In that case, what I want you to do is try to read the article and get some important points. Meanwhile, you do this one. I need your help because I need to check the attendance list. So just give me one second and I check the attendance list. So read the article and help me with that. Teacher, I don't see the picture or um es que voy a pasar la voy a pasar la asistencia, entonces por eso es que he quitado la la la, la imagen, pero ustedes la pueden verificar en, en el manual o en la presentación que les comparto. Bueno, bueno. Bien, entonces, eh, ustedes escuchan su nombre y me dicen presente. Eh, Adriana Gretel González. Present. Agustín Alexander eh, Santa María. Agustín. Mm, here. Eh, Andrea es Esmeralda Álvarez. Present. Araceli Esmeralda Ventura. Present. Eh, Carmen Andrea Santos Present Claudia Jocelyn Rivas Arevalo Claudia Present Thank you Present
Okay, let's continue with uh, Denis Alonso Marinero. Francisco Alexander Villafuerte. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Francisco Javier Orellana Ortiz. Francisco Javier Orellana. Eh, Freddy José Álvarez. Gabriela Guadalupe. Eh, Gabriela María Peña. Gerson Vinicio Moreno Funes. Present. Glendy Elisette Flores Ramírez. Present. Jennifer Raquel Ayala Vázquez. Jonathan Vladimir Salinas. Present. Ok. Eh, Carla Liliana Portillo. Carla Tatiana Villanueva. Present. Eh, Catherine Jasmine Guatemala Arias. Present. Luisa Ariana Guerra. Present. Uh, Margarita Elizabeth Panameño. Margarita. Mayra Patricia Pérez. Present. Nerlin Jaciel Flores. Eh, Nerlin, no sé si quiero ver alguien por ahí nos había puesto que en el chat creo que ah, eh, que tenía dificultades creo eh, Era... Jennifer, right? Correcto. Ah, Jennifer, okay, okay, okay. Thank you, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Yes, she's there. Ok, entonces no está, bueno, Margarita. Eh, Nerlin Jaciel Flores. Eh, Noé Alberto Calzadilla. Presente. Eh, Wendy Patricia Chavarría. Wendy Patricia. Ok, so we are here. Ok, students, we have some couple of minutes to check the article. Vamos a darle una leída así breve y luego tendremos el espacio como para completarlo. Sigan conmigo la lectura. It says, let's read. Many people catch a cold in the spring and or fall. It makes us wonder if scientists can send a man to the moon. Why can't they find a cure to the common cold? The answer is easy. There are literally hundreds of kinds of cold viruses out there. You never know which one you will get, so there isn't a cure for each one. When a virus attacks your body, your body works hard to get rid of it. Blood rushes to your nose and brings congestion, which with it, you feel terrible because you can't breathe well, but your body is actually eating the virus. Your temperature rises and you get a fever, but the heat of your body is killing the virus. You also have a running nose to stop the virus from getting to your cells. You may feel miserable, but actually your wonderful body is doing everything it can to kill the cold. Different people have different remedies for cold. Colds in the United States and some other countries, for example, People might eat uh, chicken soup to feel better. Some people take hot baths and drink warm liquids. Or other people take medicines to stop the fever, congestions, and runny nose. Others, uh, one interesting thing to note, some scientists say taking medicines when you have a cold is actually bad for you. The virus stays in your longer because your body doesn't have a way Um, let's see. Fight. I have a way to fight it and kill it. Votis can do an amazing job on their own. There is a joke, however, on taking medicines when you have a cold, it goes like this. It takes about one week to get over a cold if you don't take medicines, but only seven days to get over a cold if you take medicine. 
Okay, so it's actually a very interesting article. So I want you to read it. And it's gonna be like a part of homework. And also there are some questions that we have to come to answer according to the article, true or false. So it's gonna be done for tomorrow. And also don't forget that tomorrow is the last class of this level. So don't miss the class. No se les olvide faltar, ya que pues el día de mañana pues tenemos nuestra última clase. Y we conclude this part of the course, then you will go on to the next level soon, okay? So guys, I think time is up. Uh, thank you so much for the opportunity to join us here in the class today for participating actively. I always congratulate you for that. I don't know if you have any questions or doubt. No, if, for me. If not, I will really appreciate it and have a beautiful night to all of you guys. Okay. Good night, everybody. See you Thank tomorrow. you. Thank you too. You. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Thank you.